First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, verses 1 to 22. Saul, still breathing murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus, that if he should find any men or women who belong to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? He said, Who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. The men who were travelling with him stood speechless for they heard the voice but could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he neither ate nor drank. There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias, and the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and ask at the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying, and in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him, that he may regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources about this man, what evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priests to imprison all who call upon your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine to carry out my name before Gentiles, kings and children of Israel. And I will show him what he will have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. Laying his hands on him, he said, Saul, my brother, the Lord has sent me, Jesus who appeared to you on the way by which you came, that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, things like scales fell from his eyes and he regained his sight. He got up and was baptized, and when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the disciples in Damascus, and he began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues, that he is the Son of God. All who heard him were astounded, and said, Is not this the man who in Jerusalem ravaged those who call upon his name, and came here expressly? to take them back in chains to the chief priests. But Saul grew all the stronger and confounded the Jews who lived in Damascus, proving that this is the Christ. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 16, verses 15 to 18. Jesus appeared to eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, Today the Holy Mother Church celebrates 
the feast of the conversion of St. Paul, Apostle of the Lord. Dear friends, today we celebrate the feast of this notorious persecute of Christians becoming a vibrant evangelizer of the message of salvation. So it is a day to rejoice. It is a day to praise and thank the good Lord. And in today's first reading, my dear friends, we are told as to how Paul, St. Paul went in search of Christians to persecute them. And when, when he was on his way to Damascus, the Lord Jesus appeared to him and tells him, you are persecuting me, I am Nazarene. And I am the Lord Jesus Christ. And he is stunned by this revelation given to him by the Lord Jesus Christ. And when he goes to Damascus, my dear friends, Ananias is told, you may go and meet him. He is a chosen instrument in order to take the message of salvation to pagans, pagan kings, and also their subjects. Therefore, go and meet him. And my dear friends, today is a day of celebration. Everything is possible for the Lord. The Lord Jesus is proclaimed by this person called St. Paul afterwards after his conversion and he goes about and he moves heaven and earth in proclaiming the redemptive message of the Lord Jesus Christ and once he was persecuting the Christians now he is in a special way doing all what he can in order to glorify the Lord, in order to increase the Lord. So in the same way, my dear friends, we too are invited to do the same. If not for Paul, my dear friends, we just cannot think of having this Christic experience today. So we too have a duty to perform. We too have got to share this Christic experience with others as that of the experience of St. Paul, and he did it in his life. He put his life into danger and he shared the Christic experience. As we celebrate this feast, let us share that same Christic experience with one another and thereby glorify the Lord. Amen.